My name is Ben Accinelli. I work for DemoChimp as their lead video producer. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a custom image for VideoScribe using an image from the internet and also Adobe Illustrator and creating your graphic. And then we're going to bring it into VideoScribe to see how that animates. For this tutorial, I'll be using a Wacom Bamboo Capture Pen tablet. And this you can get on Amazon for about $75. And so to begin, what I want to do is I want to get uh, an image from the internet. And so I've already searched for one. And I would like to use the Nacho Libre image. And so we'll be doing something with this. And so let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and open up a new project in Illustrator. And we will name this Nacho. So for VideoScribe, it works best with a 480 by 480 pixel canvas. And we'll go ahead and create that. And I like to zoom out just a little bit on this because when we bring in our images, um, that tends to be a lot bigger than our canvas, as you can see here. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and shrink this down a little bit. And then we will go in. So for Video Scribe, like I said, it works best with the 480 by 480 canvas. And we would like to work with a few layers. So we'll go to our layers section here, and we're going to open up three layers. Now the middle layer, we're going to go ahead and just label that as our strokes. And then the bottom layer, we're going to do our solid colors. And you'll see what all this means here in just a minute. And this, we're going to do our white stroke. OK. OK. So now that we have our image in place, what we want to do is we want to lock this image. And we're going to lock our image because this is where we're going to be drawing our image. So we're going to go to Strokes. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Wacom tablet. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use our pen tool. The pen tool, I'm going to set this at Stroke 2. And then we'll go ahead and zoom in here. So now. As you draw your image, what you want to do is draw in the order that you want VideoScribe to draw. So here, I'm going to go ahead and start with the head. And don't worry if it isn't perfect. And I'm going to press my Command key and then click outside that. And the reason I do that is because if the stroke is selected and I begin drawing again, it's going to modify that stroke, and I don't want it to modify that stroke. OK? So what I'll do is I'll press Command, click outside of it, and begin drawing my other items here. So I'll do this all throughout the image in the order that I want VideoScribe to draw it. An image, on average, can take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes, depending on how much detail there is inside the image. So the way VideoScribe works, it works with all these strokes and the order that you drew them. So for instance, you saw me draw a few of these things last, and I would like for them to be drawn with, uh, along with the closest path or their closest stroke. So this right here was drawn last. So if I come up here, you'll see a green marker here. And that's the last path drawn. I want it to be drawn around the same time this leg is drawn. So what I'll do is I'll select this leg. And you see that it's down here. The way VideoScribe works, it draws from the bottom path working up. Okay. So what I'll do is to mark this path, I'll just remove it with the eye tool. And then I'll drag this path down above it. So what that means is after this part of the image is drawn, this is the next one to be drawn. So that way it looks natural. And then again, same thing with these knee pads. I want them to be drawn closer to the time that it draws the knee. So I will remove that and drag this close to that stroke and then make it reappear. And then I will take this stroke. That's the last one. So now everything should draw in order. OK, so now that we have all the strokes drawn, what we want to do is we want to lock it. 
and we want to begin with our solid colors. So with this, I'll go back to the mouse, and I'll start using the mouse, and I'm going to use the pen tool right here. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. And so now what I want to do is I want to take my eyedropper tool and then drop it on his face, take out my pen tool again, and then begin drawing, keeping the lines as much as possible inside the stroke. You want to do this with all of the shapes, all of the closed shapes within the image. Okay. And you don't even have to be perfect with this. You can just make it cross his face like this, and I'll show you a, a nice trick to get it behind there. On my Mac, I'm going to press Command, Shift, Left Bracket, and that's going to put that layer behind all layers. Okay, I'm going to get my eyedropper tool again. I'm going to deselect my layers. I'm going to drop his face again, and then go back to my pen tool, and I'm going to fill in his body with that color. All right, now that we have our layers colored, what we want to do is go back to the stroke layer and then right beside it, select it by pressing this icon over here. And to make it look more like a whiteboard animation, you see a whiteboard animation or a whiteboard stroke doesn't have hard edges like you see here and it doesn't have any sharp edges, as you see right here. What you want to do is select your stroke layer, go to your strokes, and make it a rounded cap and a rounded corner. And this should make it look more hand-drawn than anything. So what we do now is we go back to our layers and we turn off the Nacho Libre photo, and there you go. Okay, so there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to save this. So you'll save it as, let's go to our desktop, and we're going to save this as Nacho, but we're not going to save it as an AI file. What, we, what we're going to save it as is an SVG, a stroke vector graphic, okay? So when we hit save, what's going to happen is going to give us a few options here. Uh, for our image location, we're going to have embedded or link. Always do embedded. You're going to do OK and we're going to go to our video scribe and we're going to import this image. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find the image, go to our desktop, go to Nacho, and then we're going to open it here. Okay, there you go. And we're going to go ahead and play it. Okay, so we see that the hand followed our strokes as we had drawn the image. If we want a more realistic approach, what we can do is with this top layer that I showed you earlier, with this white stroke, what we'll do is we're going to lock all of the layers except for that one. We're going to get our pen tool again. We're going to get our Wacom tablet and we are going to color this in, okay? So with this, we're gonna add a stroke. We're gonna add a black stroke first. And we're gonna make sure those strokes cover the entire image. 
Okay. And if we have to, let's get our direct selection tool. And then rearrange some of these strokes to where it will cover our image entirely with black. Everything that black touches, it's going to reveal. Okay? And because this is our last stroke, it's going to do this after it draws in everything else. And when I say last stroke, because right now, Video Scribe is going to work from the bottom up, and the very last stroke is this one right here. That's how that works. So just do some rearranging with your strokes here. Okay. So you see how we have the jagged edges? Again, what we're going to do is we're going to make it a round cap and the corners rounded. Okay. So now that we have that, because it's a stroke, what we're going to do is we're going to select it, go to our opacity, and we're going to turn it down to zero. Okay. So the stroke is still there. Video Scribe will still recognize it, but it's only going to reveal the solid color underneath. I'm going to bring in the nacho stroke from my desktop, and we will see how this plays out. We're going to play it. So there you go. Now you know how to create your custom image. So again, what you do is find an image online, bring it into Illustrator using a 480 by 480 canvas, create your three layers, your solid colors, your strokes, and your white stroke. Do your strokes first in the order that you want. Create your solid colors and it doesn't matter what order these are in as long as they're closed paths and then create your white stroke if you want that color in effect and there you have it if you found this video useful please like the video and if you want to see more click subscribe and we'll update this channel regularly thanks for watching